Yo, so when I first started playing Kater, I noticed that all my dungeon groups I got into liked to sit around a campfire at the start of a dungeon. I wasn't exactly sure what they were doing at first, until one day a level 60 Korean that spoke English yelled at me asking me why didn't I use the mana charm. I still didn't really know what was going on, so I researched charms a bit and tested them out in North America. I noticed North American players not using charms at all, so I decided to take what I found out and make a short charm guide. So first things first, in order to receive a charm buff, you must have at least 50 stamina. Once you have 50 stamina, you can throw the charms you want to use into a campfire and they will apply to everyone near the fire, regardless of if they are in your party or not. There are three types of charms, and four types of charm ranks. You can find charms off of mobs, in eggs, or buy them off a of broker, and at higher levels you can buy strong charms off of vendors, but they can get pretty expensive. Alright, first, for the three types of charms, there are Onslaught charms, Ethereal charms, and Sandrine charms. Onslaught charms give you an offensive buff, Ethereal give you a defensive buff, and Sandrine give you an auxiliary buff. The exact type and rank of the buff you get when you use these charms is random, so first I'll explain the ranks. When you use any of the three charms, you will receive a buff with one of the following prefixes, lesser, minor, major, or greater. These prefixes tell you how strong of a buff it is that you are going to get. One thing you should note about these charms is that lesser buffs cannot override anything stronger than it, be it minor, major, or greater. Same thing goes for minor overriding major or greater, or major overriding greater. I'll explain this a bit more at the end though. So now let's go into the different types of buffs you can get from each type of charm. If you throw an onslaught charm onto the campfire, you can get one of the following buffs. Strength, attack speed, crit, or knockdown rate. If you throw an ethereal charm into the fire, you'll get one of the following buffs. Endurance, poison resist, crit resist, immobility resist, weakening will resist, and damage reflect. And lastly, if you throw a Sandswine charm into the file, you'll get one of the following buffs. Max HP increase, max MP increase, movement speed increase, hit points regeneration, and mana regeneration. Now, out of all these charms, I noticed that the Korean players would continuously throw their charms into the fire until they got the buffs they wanted. The only one I was certain they were using every time was the MP regen buff. Now it's important to note that if you throw charms into a fire repeatedly to get the right buff, you will only get a new buff if its ranking is higher, meaning if you get a greater version of a buff you don't want, you'll be able to replace it with another greater, but it'll take a few charms to get another greater. Now you've no doubt been running dungeons in North America, and in most cases you've been completely ignoring these charms and haven't had any trouble at all, so why bother using them? You'll notice the difference of the MP regen charm immediately, as well as the attack speed charm. Sure, you can do fine without them, but these charms are really good, especially when you get to hard modes. The MP regen charm outregens Berserkers and Slayers mana decay, giving them almost infinite mana and making it so they never have to use basic attacks. Anyway, use this information as you will. I hope you learned something. See you later, boopers. Boop.